Hello Armament Collectors, it's me, IMC Productions, and today I'm going to show you something that arrived to my house a few weeks ago, and because I was kind of busy, I wasn't able to, to show this update of my collection to you guys. So, um, here we can see some World War II stuff, and some Vietnam era stuff too, and today I was able to get a new tank. Yep, I was able to get a new Bully M60 Pattern tank, as you can see right there. Uh, we're going to talk about that tank later, but for now, I'm going to show you uh, some of these poses that I got. Uh, here we have a standing, a standing pose. Here we can see it has a Japanese World War II uniform. Yeah, which is just standing and guarding. It's pretty detailed in my opinion. Here's the front of the soldier. Here's the back of the soldier. Pretty detailed in my opinion. All the stuff that you are watching right now on the screen are bootleg stuff. So yeah, nothing is from Matchbox or Airfix or any other brand. Uh, here we have a, a Japanese officer with a katana. Pretty well done in my opinion, I just need to cut some runoffs, but besides that it's perfect in my opinion. Here we have this soldier which is running, he has a bayonet at the front of his rifle. It's pretty detailed in my opinion too, pretty well done. Here we have a mortar soldier, and it doesn't have the best quality but it's gonna work for background purposes. Here we have a machine gunner. Pretty well done too in my opinion. And my favorite my favorite pose. The standing and sharing pose. Pretty well done in my opinion. It has a lot of details too. Moving on with the German infantry. Here we have a German officer. As you can see, it's pretty well done, pretty detailed. Here we have this German soldier which is about to throw a stick grenade. Pretty well done in my opinion too. A standing and shooting pose. Pretty well done. This, this is my favorite pose. Of this bunch. Here we have the kneeling and shooting pose. Here we have a soldier shooting his MP40. Pretty well done too. Here we have the crawling pose, which looks pretty, pretty, pretty good in my opinion. It looks pretty well done. Here you can see it has a lot of detail. Here we have the machine gunner. As you can see, pretty well done and detailed too. And the soldier, which is about to stab somebody, we can see uh, the bayonet at the end of his car 98k rifle. Here we have some Airfix copies, but they're pretty well done too. They are really detailed in my opinion. Here we have this sort of kind of radio operator, as you can see. He has a UC on his right hand and a radio on his left hand. His face is pretty well done. 
I was able to get five of these Airfix copies, but now I'm showing you just three of them because, yeah, the other two are the same guy right here. Um, here we have the machine gunner, pretty well done too. And the surrounding pose. Which is pretty well done too. Moving on with the World War II American soldiers. Here we have... Um, this guy in 1911. Kneeling and shooting pose, pretty classic. Yeah, this is a classic one. Standing and shooting, also classic pose too. And this thing has the best quality, but it's gonna work for background purposes too. This this soldier which is shooting a grease gun, pretty classic too. Flamethrower soldier. Here we have a machine gunner. The soldier which is about to throw a grenade. Pretty classic too. Here we have um, the crawling pose. Pretty well done too in my opinion. And you can see all the detail on his face. Yeah. Here we have this soldier with binoculars. The radio operator, maybe, or maybe just a soldier with a radio. Pretty classic too, you know, with his grease gun in his right hand and the radio in his left hand. Pretty classic pose too. Moving on with the British infantry, here we have uh, three different kinds of machine gunner. Uh, machine gunners, sorry. Here we have this pretty unique pose. Oh, sorry. Here we have the crawling variant of, of that pose. Pretty well done too. In my opinion. He's kneeling and shooting machine gunner. This is a soldier which is about to stab somebody. As you can see he has a bayonet that he is at the end of his rifle, throwing a grenade pose. This soldier with an anti tank gun, maybe, or with a bazooka. Kneeling and shooting pose. Crawling pose. And standing and shooting pose. Which this is my favorite one. Yeah, I got two. Yeah, I got this light tint version and I got this dark tint version. And I was also able to get these. Uh, these little Vietnam era troops, you know, you already know them, they are Timmy knockoffs. As you can see right here, here we have the kneeling and shooting pose. Crawling and shooting. And the radio operator. Which is 
broken, unfortunately. And, well, we're now going to talk about this bad boy around here. Um, well, I got, well, I got this tank on Facebook Marketplace. I was able to buy this tank for three dollars and fifty cents. So yeah, it was really, really cheap. Um, this is a good advice for for you armament collectors. Uh, go and check Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Those are the best. Those are the best websites to search these kind of tanks. Uh, yeah. Now we have three different variants of these tanks, as you can see right there. I freaking love those tanks, and they're not in sale. So stop asking me for that. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe. Sorry. Comment what you think about this new lot that I got. Um, I also need some voice actors for my armament project. Um, yeah. So if you want to send some your boys for this next project that I'm working on, uh, I'm going to leave my my email account on the comment section. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and see you next time. Goodbye.